Right, OK, we've got a differentiation question here. We've got to differentiate this here. So it's 3 times 2. It's the, the old power uh, multiplied by the coefficient of x cubed. Um, then reduce the power by 1. We get this. And we get this. Remember, it's x to the power 1 here, isn't it? Uh, x to the power 1 becomes x to the power 0, OK, which is 1. Now then, this is a gradient function. Difference in y over difference in x. Right, rise over the run, whatever you want to call it. So it needs to tell us, it's, sorry, it says find the gradient of C at the point with coordinates 2 minus 11. So when X equals 2, what is the gradient? So all we've got to do is put 2 into our uh, gradient function, which is this. All right, so we get 24 minus 12 minus 12 zero so it's actually a turning point they might have called it a turning point okay now um, we've got to then it says the curve c has a gradient of minus 12 at the point x equals k and the point x equals m right given that k is greater than m find the value of um, that now what that's saying is that we've got to solve this essentially and what you've got is a graph that looks something like that. And there's two points around. It'll be they'll be around here somewhere, okay, where the gradient is minus twelve, and we've got to find both of them. So what you've got to do is simplify this. Oh, and look at that. The minus twelves cancel out. Then we factorise. All right, and we get. Um, the two answers, x equals 0 for this first bit, and x equals 1. And it says k is greater than m, so it's got to be 1 and 0, like that. Alright, so remember, the key thing to remember here is that finding dy dx, that finds the gradient function. So as soon as I start talking about gradients or turning points, anything like that, you're using dy dx.